everybody. Jim and Jean here. Welcome to the world famous beaches of St. George's Island. Some of the best in Florida. Now you've heard about Miami Beach, you've heard about Daytona Beach, you heard about Fort Myers. Hey, maybe you even heard about Siesta Key. But perhaps the best beaches of all are located right here in the Florida Panhandle. Unspoiled, uncrowded, with great water and sand. A look at the gorgeous water, waves, and white sand. Okay, the Dr. Julian Bruce, St. George Island State Park. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? What is it, $6 for yes, two? Where's, Where's the best, the best beach to go to? to go to the beach? Going all the way up. Do you need a map? Yeah, that would be great. That'd be great. Look, no condos, no 7 Elevens, no restaurants. This is pure Florida from the old days. This is beautiful, Jim. Yeah. Okay, now I can see some wave action. See a few swimmers. Okay, now let's go in the 15. Chick. There must be baby chicks coming. Let me know if we see any baby chicks. This is unbelievably weird. Have you ever seen anything like this? I have not. No. Yeah. It's kind of like isolated, like Iceland. Yeah. Hey, everybody. Let's hit the beach here in St. George's Island. There are some cute signs. Please don't feed the gulls. They eat my babies. It's warm and friendly. They also allow fishing. Now, this is the entrance here to the beach. You can see sand is pretty fluffy he kicking it up very relaxing here let's stay outside the pavilions now look at the sand the picnic areas and look at the water gorgeous blue green shades waves this is a fun place to visit fun watching all the seabirds. You're not allowed to bring dogs or alcoholic beverages, but I bet within a thousand feet of me, I could probably find a beer. Some margaritas if I really try. Kids love the beach here. There's some really nice picnic facilities here on St. George's Island. Now we're going to pan for a direct view as we further look towards the east. And here you're looking at the wide strip of Public Beach by Pavilion Number 2 at mile marker 4 of the system here in St. George's Park. You can see a lot of people coming to the beach, relaxing, showering, that kind of stuff. Very nice. My wife is busy reading the book. I'm kind of bored. I want to see some bikini babes. So look, walk down this beach, see if I can find some. Oh, not too much going on. So I'll just enjoy the water, the sand, the surf. It is unbelievably strange walking down the strip of Florida Beach without 20-story condominiums, beach bars, t-shirt stores. I love this place. Wavy action starting to pick up ties have the hypnotizing, mesmerizing feel to it. I love walking along this pristine portion of the beaches here at St. George's Park. Look at the dunes, other swimmers. Hey, I love going to wild beach parties in Miami Beach and stuff, but hey, there are benefits of walking along this isolated strip of sand in St. George's Island. 
I love the color of the water, the waves, and the fact that you can be around sea dunes, birds, and other wildlife. Now we're looking at a gorgeous strip of beach here, unspoiled, no litter, no lifeguards, no hassle. Everyone loves coming to the beach here on St. George's Island. Both birds, tourists, and locals convene and enjoy the great white sand, clear waters of St. George's Island. Now this part of the beach is closer to the restrooms and shower facilities. Compared to South Beach, this place is a lot less crowded, even on the public beach parts. But wow, look at the colors, the water, and look at all the people having a good time. Water feels great. St. George's has lots of shelling. Hey, that guy's got a pretty good arm. I think the beaches here are really unspoiled, uncrowded, just gorgeous. I'm surprised this place has never really developed like Sarasota and Miami. And then it's Officer Roundtree, the expert on St. George's Island in Apalachicola. Look, Jim, there is a storm. The gate. There are I storm. bet there was. And they I bet the storm hit the boardwalk yeah. and destroyed it. Which would have been cool, Jim, to walk through the dunes on yeah. the Sugar Hill camping area. I bet you have to have reservations a long time in advance to score a site here. Well, this is pretty in here too. You're right about the pine trees on like right, south isn't and it central weird? Florida. Yeah. These are pretty good sites. It's very pretty. Now are, are motorhomes not allowed? Because these are all trailers. I don't know. Well most people prefer to do trailers because yeah. you could pull your Oh, right, you, you if you're driving around town, that's probably a lot. I think there's a motorhome. Right? Oh, you see a motorhome? Yeah, it's much easier to... Oh, yeah, you found one. ...pull a trailer. Yeah. Hey, the state park is great. Now let's check out that western part of St. George's Island. Definitely has a different look in the Panhandle beaches than in the beaches south of Tampa. Yeah, look, you see the forest on the other side? Yeah, it's kind of weird having all these trees. 
Florida has a lot of beautiful lighthouses. I like this one on St. George's Island. It's by the visitor center. This is St. George Island Visitor Center, home of the lighthouse and lighthouse park. This is a free public beach by the lighthouse. Well, the beaches are always open on St. George's Island. There are beaches that are shared by the general public along stretches littered with condos, hotels, and cottages. This is a public beach very close to the town of Avalanche. It's a beautiful day to come to the beach here today. So gentle, so mild. And the Reynolds are very interesting. Here's the Blue Parrot Oceanfront Cafe. I love the sign, Welcome to Paradise. This is very much a tropical themed restaurant on the Gulf of Mexico here. See the tiki hut and palm trees? Very paradise. Another local hangout is Mango Mike's. It's a fun sports bar and grill. Oh, so now we're entering the Piggly Wiggly Express. That's the name, folks. Not a public. Do you use the grocery store more like a 7-Eleven? Oh, they got sushi. Oh, this is darling. I like this better than when we were last night. But I think you're right about the floors of the Piggly Wiggly with this kind of like dirty brown terrazzo. Taco flavor Doritos? Yes. You get ice cream? Yeah, you can get ice cream pretty cheap. So it's kind of like a 7-Eleven on steroids, but you have convenience food for barbecuing. They have a very small butcher shop. Although I bet these, I think the cinnamon rolls must be good here that you sold them. What is that? Blueberry oh, blueberry streusel. streusel. That, that looks, 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 looks pretty good, man. So Janine, have you ever seen like gray shrimp? What is that stuff there? That's what they look like before you cook them. Dude. I thought shrimp are like pink and orange. Yeah, when you cook them. They're black? Can you believe he's really saying this? Mm -hmm. He's not joking around yeah. either. What a city slicker, man. You gotta be from up north. I gotta no. be. I'm from up north. Man. We've Michigan. lived in Florida for 45 years. My brother and father and my nephew are big fishermen. Uh -huh. He should know this stuff. Right? I can't <laughs> help it. He probably doesn't know they have heads on them at one point. Too. There's no heads on those? No, they took oh. the heads off. Piggly Wiggly has competition. Try Sparks and Sons Island Grocery. Oh, this is actually pretty nice. Wine is more like a gourmet Piggly Wiggly. A little bit of a butcher shop, mostly for barbecuing, eggs, orange juice, all the staples for uh, breakfast. Everyone's so happy here, looking for food. It smells pretty decent barbecue. So this is their takeout food section here. They have a lot of barbecue chicken, some macaroni and cheese, and some other fixings. Look at them cooking it. Barbecue stuff, it's really good. buy your t-shirts and souvenirs at the St. George Island Trading Company. On the western portion of St. George Island, it's a little bit more developed with residential homes. The state parks on the eastern portion, but now let's go along this main drag and see what's happening on West St. George Island. Jim, I think there's just as many houses on the other side. Yeah. Hey, I hope you enjoyed coming to St. George's Island. If you like this video, subscribe, comment, and like. Have a great day.